rough saying yes. W are substantial enough and significant enough for Ruff to put their partnership and name to their cars. They put their DNA into it and it's a big tick to say that while this thing is a bit coming from a very new brand and while it's a pretty new car and it does look crazy and you'd be forgiven for thinking that is this thing really that serious? When you partner with a company like Ruff, that's a stamp of approval to say yeah, these guys mean business. And if you watch this channel regularly, you'll know that I class myself as being somewhat of a gearbox snob. And miraculously, between W and Roof, they've managed to control this engine with one of the best gearboxes in the world. It is a seven speed dual clutch PDK from Porsche, optimized by Roof. This for me backs up how serious the car actually is. Let me just drop it down a couple of cogs. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. <laughs> Let me just tell you something. There's plenty of show and there's even more go. The torque is outstanding. So, Rare doesn't really do this thing justice either. WR only going to be building a maximum of 25 of these cars each year and the production run won't be for that long. And at a 1.4 million pound price tag, it's not like you're going to be seeing these cars all over the place. But that's the point, isn't it? You're not going to be investing in a car like this because you want to be a Me Too supercar driver. You want to be investing in a car like this because you want to be unlike anything else on the road. And believe me, there is nothing like this on the road. It's, it's the styling. The first thing that you see is, of course, the way this thing looks when you walk over to it and you step inside it. It really is like it's its own thing. With it being born from a different part of the world, you can really feel that it has this its own inherent flavor just by staring at it. You can't really piece where it's come from. And then someone tells you that the DNA is Dubai and then it all makes sense. It's got such ostentatious flair. But as a result, it stands on its own two feet. It's not trying to be anything else. It's we are W. This is our design language and this is our offering. What I'm thankful for is that it isn't just show. It's backed up with quite substantial go. I mean, just one more time. Just check this out. You hit the red line quickly. For a turbo car, it actually revs very fast. Now the majority of the outer shell of this car is carbon fiber and there's no shock there because despite the fact that this thing has a substantial engine block in the back, the entire weight of this car is around about 1,350 kilograms, which combined with over 700 pounds feet of torque and 800 horsepower, this thing gathers momentum. I mean, it doesn't so much as accelerate as it does create its own wormhole void that is punched in the air in front of you. There's no friction. It just sort of sucks up, gets taut, and after just a small amount of turbo lag, you need to brace for the impact. It's almost like there's an electromagnet at the end of the road that has switched itself on and is all of a sudden just going, you're, you're coming to me, mate. You've got no choice once you press that right foot down to the floor. The way this thing pulls and builds momentum is fascinating and ultimately it'll go on to almost 250 miles an hour. I look down at the dashboard which look like it's been designed by Tony Stark on acid and you wonder how on earth you've managed to reach numbers like that with just part throttle. It's amazing. The combination is fascinating. You've got the flair and creativity of a brand that has been born out of the craziness of Dubai. But then you've got the sophistication and engineering of a brand which is born out of German engineering. And ultimately, this car is constructed in Austria. So what you've got is a car that has the flair and craziness aesthetically of a brand that has been born out of the craziness of Dubai. And on the other hand, when it comes to the business end, when you plant your right foot and take your first corner, you've got the dynamics and engine and build quality of, of the European side of the world, which take these things very seriously. Designed in Dubai, constructed in Austria. And in terms of synergy,
energy, something that's going to offer craziness and flair, but backed up by sophistication and an engine drivetrain dynamics that is ultimately quite serious. It's match made in, in heaven, though. No? So there we have it, my first drive in a W Motors car. If you guys followed this channel, about 18 months ago, I made one of my all-time favorite videos titled The World's Greatest Driving Road. In that video, we actually had the Lycan Hypersport accompany us on that journey to the top of Jebel Jays in Ras Al Khaimah. To this day, it's one of my highest viewed videos and everyone was talking about the Lycan right there. What this is, is the newest offering from W. On that day, I never got a chance to drive the Lycan, but today I've got to drive it on the right-hand side of the road in my own country, which is the kind of environment which I can get to know a car the best. Having had no experience with these cars, they drive as fantastic as they look, and I think you'll all agree they look absolutely incredible. Hopefully, if I can beg enough with the guys from W, we'll be able to spend some more time in these cars soon. I'm heading back out to Dubai towards the end of this year, so if there's any questions that you guys want to know and you want to see some more footage of the W Motors veneer on the channel, let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.